Hey YouTube, it is Matt with Olympus Reptiles and one of my favorite type videos it is a clutch update. So usually we show you my balls, we play with my balls. I'm going to show you the balls that I've made. Uh, well, I actually didn't make them. Two snakes did that we chose to put together. And this is a clutch that I'm really excited about because it furthers my plans. You guys know I love Exanthic, right? And so what this clutch is, is this is a... Um, we usually every year we do a killer bee clutch. It's one of the first gold snakes we've had. And so we held back our first ever killer bee, and I like making them so beautiful. I always do a clutch for them. Well, this year we used our zebra bee instead of our bumblebee male, so we made a killer bee clutch that should be all head exanthic. Now, I said should be. We believe them to be head exanthic. It does come with a little bit of an asterisk because there's obviously a slight chance the clutch could be from retained sperm from the year previous. And in that case, we wouldn't know any different genetically because a bumblebee and a zebra bee, when bred to a pastel, are going to make the exact same looking babies, right? We wouldn't be able to visually tell a het. However, they should be het exanthic. The only male paired to her this year was our zebra bee, but there is that outside small chance that the uh, pairing, the fertility came from the previous year. We have seen that happen once. It is possible. So I want to put that out there so everybody knows, you know, just in case something were to happen, why it happened. Of course, we'd fix it, but that way everything is out in the open. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. Now we're going to start right here. The last one we did was clutch 02. So this will be clutch 03. And we're going to start with 190301. Now this one, you need a little bit of cleaning in there, girlie. Is, uh, well, let me look. You know, I think I remember what it is, and I don't. <laughs> That's bad on me. But it is obviously a little head exanthic. I just don't remember the sex. So i got to look into my computer logs here kind of went all high class and this one is actually a male it is 100% het for exanthic so uh just a little bitty male right there very normal looking snake that's what to be expected so while well, I've got you out and I'm talking about you and showing you off you can see it's growing really well it's obviously its bowels are working because it had bowel movement everywhere in here Ew. I'm gonna put that in the sink to deal with later yucky all right Anyway, so there he is, looking really good, really happy with him. I do think I got the scale here still. I do. Why don't we put him on our scale, and we'll just see what he's weighing in at. Now, by the time this video makes it to the public, uh, we have actually have to film this in a little bit earlier before it goes out, so you'll get a few more feeds in them, but you can see they're doing great, 88 grams. We are definitely doing well. Put him back in. That brings us to 190302. This one, as you can see, is a little spider. And I believe it is also a female. So the first one was a male. This one is a female. And look, this is what we're really looking for in our spiders. Extremely reduced pattern. Now this one does have some spotting there, 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 and a little micro dot there. But overall, really, really nice. Really nice and clean. You know, I don't like a lot of alien head spotting in my spiders. Get the head out there. Really cool head pattern. You can see it right there peeking through. And again, 100% head SK exanthic. Put it on the scale. And it's at 102. So you know what, too? You can put these guys on there like that. And you know what? People are like, oh, see, it stays upside down. Well, let's check something. Let's see. Let's see. Are you any different? Huh. That's kind of interesting. They both do the same thing. So just because the snake sits there, you can see it's got its head turned around. It is ready to duck back in or defend itself if it needs. But you don't need to, little one. So I just want to show that, you know, because that's something that's been portrayed as a problem for a long time. Not a big deal. This is a little pastel head exanthic. We'll put that on the scale for you as well. And you can see it's also at 92. So everybody we pulled out so far has been doing very, very well and is up to size. This one is a little female. Just a very nice pastel, uh, nice color, 100% head exanthic. So pretty typical of what we see from our pastels. Put that one back up. This cage is always empty right now because this is our control tub. So you can see I got the probe buried in there to make the temperatures, you know, mirror everything else. So I'm not skipping something. It's just an empty one. Now this snake is an interesting snake. This is one that has a lot of attitude. So this is where our little trick that we showed you the other day about having yourselves a little snake hook comes in very handy. You can see it's not going to, okay, it's not going to cow very easy for me. So rather than really make it angry, we'll just pick it up. Well, it already is really angry. And then we should be able to 
without too much drama. There we go, set it down in our hand, simple as that, and it will eventually get used to handling. So a good little tool again for that. Um, also, it's a good little reacher tool. Turn on. Maybe, there we go. We'll put this on the scale. This one eats great. Usually when you have one that's kind of angry like that, they tend to eat really well. And you can see it's also at 87, a little smaller than the other ones. I have had it miss a meal, but all it did was strike at it and to the point that I pulled it out because I felt kind of bad for it. So uh, it's doing good as well. Don't anticipate needing that again. And that brings us to 190305, which is another little pastel. This one actually could be a super. Let me show you. You got a lot of good blushing through there. You can see it's a lot brighter than our angry one here. Let me compare the two. Now that that angry one's no longer going to be a pain in the butt. So uh, we're probably not 100% sure on this. So I have hatched out some very, very nice pastels that do kind of have this look. And I would expect to see more blushing on a super pastel. So we're just calling it a pastel, but there is a chance it is a low expression super. And that was 190305, double check my records. And it is a little male. I'll put that there. 74, so this one will still need a meal. So we do have a few that are still growing up. And, uh, but that's a really pretty head. I would expect it to be almost solid light if it was a super though. Oh, I know you're gonna bite me now, but I bet you back in there pretty quick. 190306 is just a little normal. And this is a wee one. Of course, it is still head exantic. This one is not going to be at weight yet, I can guarantee you. It was one of the smaller ones. And it's been a little bit slow to start, but it's doing fine. All told, excuse me, it is eating. And it is a little female. Put that down on the scale. It's probably like 65. Well, 55. So it still has a ways to go. But like I say, it was a smaller egg. And uh, it is doing pretty decent and doing okay. And we'll make sure it gets there. 190307 is another normal. Of course, we say normals. We don't really mean truly normal. They're all 100% head exantic. And just to give you an idea of the difference in size between the two, there, that one's at 87. So it's definitely ready to go. And this one is a female. Now, again, by the time this is showing, these have all probably put on a significant amount of weight because, you know, right now it's into July still. And this video probably won't make it out till sometime in August the very first. So we'll go to 190308. Of course, this is another very big clutch for us. And of course, this is the uh, one of the best two snakes, I think, in the clutch. And that is a killer bee. And look, very nice killer bee, really nice blushing throughout, beautiful color. But every time you do the killer, you do get more spotting. That's just part of the killers. I haven't been able to get that out of there yet. And she's doing good also at 87 grams. So she is doing wonderful. And she is 190308. Get that out of there for you, girly. 190309 is another little spider. And a few of these have had a bad habit of drowning their meals and not eating them. So that has caused a few missed meals with this clutch. We'll set her there. And you can see she is right at 76. So Definitely by the time this shows up, she will be ready to go. I say she, but it's actually he. This 190309 is a little male. But again, too, we talk about spiders. It's always for me about the pattern. And you can really look and see how clean this one really is. That's not an alien head spot. It's a line break. But this one really shows no alien head spotting that I can see. So this is what I'm looking for in a spider. If I needed to hold back a male uh, head exantic spider, which I, I don't, but if I did, I would hold this back without any calm or question because of the way it looks. It also does not display. Also, I'm picking it up. I've waited. It's pissed, and it's now getting curious, and you can see as I hold it, it's displaying no issues or no problems. So I'll put that little one back. There you go, little buddy. And then 1903010, last but not least, is another killer bee, and again, very similar to the last one we showed. Uh, with the spotting, you can't get rid of it, but the colors are just, they're just unreal on these. I love killer bees, you know, 100% head exantic, and this one's at 93 grams, so doing really, really well, but beautiful, and you're not seeing any issues again. I haven't pulled out a single spider ever that does loop-de-loops or does anything like that. <laughs> it's just not what we do. You can see that one's 
perfection. Even when I move, it automatically adjusts its head. It's doing great. So we put that one back in there. So that, guys, is our Killer Bee Clutch for the Year Head Exanthic. Stay with us because our next clutch we're going to be featuring will be a clutch of, I believe, champagnes. Yes, our champagne clutch. So I'm really excited to show that one to you next. Kurt, anything you want to add? No. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.